Good morning and welcome to Little by Little, a short time in God's Word. We're in Luke chapter 21 as we make our way through the Gospel of Luke here in December, leading up to Christmas Eve. I uh, hope you've been taking the time on the weekends to keep your reading up and to keep studying about the life of Jesus, the reason for the season. Luke 21. Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the offering box, and he saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins, and he said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for they all contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all that she had to live on. We, we think of giving a lot different than Jesus, uh, mostly because he knows the heart. And so when you think about giving, whether that's this year, at the end of the year, is you know maybe you're thinking of an end of year type of gift uh, sort of thing, or just your giving in general, your generosity, um, Again, it's not amount, it's heart. And that's what Jesus has made clear uh, over and over. And so, uh, what you have, are you stewarding it well for the kingdom? That's the whole thing. Well, some were speaking of the temple, how it was adorned with noble stones and offerings. He said, as for these things that you see, the day will come when there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And they asked him, teacher, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when these things are about to take place? And he said, See that you are not led astray. Many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is at hand. Do not go after them. When you hear of wars and tumults, do not be terrified, for these things must first take place, but the end will not be at once. And then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places, famines and pestilences. There will be terrors and great signs from heaven, but before all this, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. Settle it therefore in your minds not to meditate beforehand how to answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and relatives and friends, and some of you they will put to death. You'll be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your lives. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let those who are inside the city depart. Let not those who are out in the country enter it, for these are the days of vengeance, to fulfill all that is written. Alas, for also for women who are pregnant, and for those who are nursing infants in those days, for there will be great distress upon the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive among all nations, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars and on the earth, distress of nations and perplexity because of the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world, for the poverty of the heavens Will, the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And he told them a parable, look at the fig tree and at all the trees, and as soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all this has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life, and that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. And every day he was teaching in the temple, but at night he went out and lodged in the mount called Olivet. And early in the morning, all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. There's coming a day. Before that day, there's going to be a lot of problems. There's going to be a lot of distress, a lot of wars, rumors of wars, a lot of nation against nation, pestilence, famines, all these things. You're like, is that today? Yeah, we're, we're in those days. Look at the signs and realize we're nearer now than ever before. Look up. For your redemption is drawing there. You know, we can get confused, we can get uh, worried, we can get fearful by what's going on in the world around us. Or we can keep our eyes on Jesus, the soon 
becoming king. And so no matter what happens, whether they throw you in prison, whether some actually die for the faith, keep your hope in Christ and you'll be saved. And you'll be safe. Until next time.